Many new and environmentally minded vegetable growers express an interest in incorporating cover crops into their project. When used in the aisle and along field margins, cover crops have the immediate and visible benefits of diminishing soil erosion, easing compaction, allowing rapid field re-entry after rains, and reducing dependence of pre-emergent herbicides. This video is intended as a brief introduction for beginning growers who may lack specialized equipment but still wish to apply cover crops. Basic equipment used at the University of Kentucky Horticulture Research Farm in Lexington is also presented for those interested in scaling up their efforts. While numerous cover crops exist, ones most successfully integrated between plastic culture vegetable rows are non-competitive, low-maintenance, short-statured non-vining annuals. Small grains, such as cereal rye and winter wheat, are popular for fall planting, while oats are useful as an early spring cover. Teff, a warm season grain, has performed well in Kentucky as a summer cover. Suitable broadleaf covers are limited due to taller stature. However, mustards and buckwheat are well adapted for row ends and margins. Preparation and planting should start soon after plastic beds are laid and before the planting holes are punched. This prevents seeds from spreading into the holes and becoming weeds. However, with careful application, this task can be done at any time. Similar to field preparation and plastic laying, it is best to work when the soil is dry. Start by shallowly tilling between beds to smooth the soil surface and eliminate any hard spots created by tractor treads. Crops with large seeds, such as rye, oats, and buckwheat, are easily spread by hand. Once the beds are established, spread seed using a sweeping motion to evenly cover the soil surface. Reserving half for a second pass will ensure stand uniformity, but is not essential. Seeding rates vary by cover crop. If you are unsure about what is appropriate, check with your county agriculture extension agent. Generally, hand spread rates should be roughly double those suggested for drilling or drop seeding. Make a final pass with a leaf or garden rake, lightly brushing the soil surface to cover the seed. A quarter to half inch rain soon after seeding will speed germination and soil cover, so plan accordingly. Finally, try to avoid entering the field for at least a week after emergence to limit disturbance of the tender seedlings. Basic seeding equipment will reduce much of the labor in hand seeding and allow a larger area to be covered quickly. It is not necessary that the equipment be very complex or expensive to suit a small grower's needs. Some are available used at farm equipment sales or auctions. A drop seeder is essential in applying cover crops with very small seed, such as teff, for which successful hand seeding is difficult. Greater uniformity of soil cover using less seed is possible for other crops. The seeder is easily attached to a utility vehicle or a small tractor hitch. Depending upon the model, an adjustable dial will control the seeding rate through holes opened and closed using a lever. Most cover crops require relatively little care after planting. Periodic mowing of taller crops such as teff and cereal rye may be necessary to control their height. Do not allow covers to seed, otherwise they may become weedy. For more information on cover crops and their installation, please contact your local county extension office.